Okay, everybody, got a uh, collection update. Well, not really an update, just a showcase, I guess. Um, here is my collection of limited run games. Um, I discovered limited run by watching a Metal Jesus video, and he was talking about homebrews or something like that, and they mentioned limited run, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll give it a check. I'll, I'll give it a try, and then I checked with the website, thinking to myself, well, I'm getting into collecting. Might as well start looking at this stuff, and I mean... <laughs> They have some pretty cool things that they put out. Um, like, when my, uh, I was really excited when I saw this, Windjammers. I played this in the arcade a lot um, when I was younger. And then Samurai Jack. They did a Samurai Jack, which was fantastic. I was happy about that. Um, Divinity. This is a great game. Uh, I have this on download. Yes, I actually play games. Uh, but this one I have on download on my, uh, on my Xbox. I got some of the, uh, so they, what Limited Run does, I'm, I'm sure most of you who are watching this or already know about this, but for those of you who don't, Limited Run does, oh gosh, they release games that didn't come out in physical copy or they're just PC and they port them to, to Switch or whatever and they'll do like separate art for them. They'll do, uh, you know, these are steel cases. I like steel cases. I think they look neat in a, in a collection. Also with every game that they release, they have a series of cards, and so I have a whole bunch of cards that I've collected throughout the last couple years. Um, and then they also put a number on like what number it is out of the limited run series. So my oldest one is, I got the VR01, I think it's this one, I think it's Skullgirls, second edition. That's a P58. Um, this right here is the only game I actually have opened. Creo Blaster, or Kiro Blaster, whatever you want to call it. Um, because the disc was loose and I couldn't stand it, I had to open it up and put the disc back in properly. That's one thing I'll say about Limited Run, is that you will, I will get a lot of these and the discs will be loose. Um, and that it's super annoying as a collector, of course, looking for anybody. Yeah, I'll just let it go back and forth. But they'll come out with a limited edition or a collector's edition or whatever. And then they'll have a regular release. And then they'll have a bundled release where you can buy everything that came out that, that week or that month or whatever. But limited run, I tell you, I keep getting updates like, hey, hey, we haven't seen you for a while. I haven't bought anything. Yeah, because you took all my money last year. I haven't purchased anything from limited run in 2021. I have, I think, 76 games. I have only one of the Star Wars series. It is a great series with a TIE Fighter, X-Wing, all this stuff, and I couldn't get them at the time. But I have the, the original, the New Hope. Um, Samurai Showdown. I had a 3DS. Shantae, Legion, Dust, West of Lothian. I forgot what that one's called. So that's a PS2 release that they have, which I thought was cool. And these are their, like, their Neo Geo ports. And I have a few of them. I want to get all of them, though. So a 3.6. I mean, again, everything has, like, this number to it, which I think is kind of cool. As a collector, I have these kind of set up like books. Um, Metal Slug. I played that one a lot in the, uh, in the arcade. Uh, same thing with uh, Fatal Fury. That was a real fun one to play. Uh, Panzer Dragon, when they re-released that one for a Switch port, that was kind of cool. Um, so I have quite a few other Switch releases. Um, then I have quite a few of the PS4s. PS4, Switch, oh, it's going to go back and forth. Sorry about the glare, I have the, the can lights up there just right over the top of it. Um, Shenmue 3, that was kind of cool. Metastorm, which is a uh, Nintendo port, just a NES port. Then I have my uh, few Vita games. I think that with the Bastion, there's supposed to be like a, a signature series or like a creators or something like that. Sign them, because this took forever to get. I don't know what the hold of was. But yeah, they have, what, they have 66. Let's see if I can get that in there. Yeah, 66. Vita, so like V66 or whatever it is. I'm not going to collect 66 of those. Forget it. No, I have a, I have a list of like 100 PS2 games and why, no, 115 PS2 games and like a 90-something PS3 games I still want to get. Um, 
but this is, yeah, this is limited run. I think I have like, again, like close to 80, but I have to recount. Uh, I think they're great display pieces. Again, I'm not going to play these. Maybe I'll get some graded. Um, I'm just buy and hold on to them. <laughs> Stick them in my closet. It's fun to look at, fun to talk about. I guess conversation pieces when people come over here. I mean, I collect so many different things, comics and statues and everything else that you get collectors that come in here and they'll say, oh, well, tell me about that or what is this or what is that? And, you know, uh, again, this is... You're probably tired of me saying this, but I couldn't collect video games growing up, and now I can, and it's, uh, I might not have the time to play them all, but, you know, I buy them, it makes me happy, and, uh, yeah, Willen Run has got, they have not gotten any of my money this year, maybe next year, uh, I think a lot of my money's going to Goodwill and eBay, and then, uh, Emerald City Comic Con coming up. I just, I just did the Rose City Comic Con, which was absolutely atrocious in terms of game collecting. And comic book collecting, oh my gosh, if you're into comics, hats off to you. Because that stuff is just, it's insane what they want for that, for comics these days. The, the price just keep going up. I'm wondering when it's gonna bottom out. I think that the video game market might bottom out a little bit also, but you know, right now I'm still finding garage sales selling PS3 games for like 20, 30 bucks, and you're like, no. No, this is not twenty or thirty dollars. Um, but anyhow, there you have it. And I'll have a other video later on with my like my. I have a Dreamcast collection, a PS One collection, a PS Two collection. Um, I don't have a an NES collection to talk about. I have like four carts that are all just <laughs> one dollar cartridges. I think um, I don't have a Genesis collection yet. I just, I think it comes down to space. I have a controller collection. I have a Xbox controller collection. I'll probably showcase that a little bit later. Um, I just like, you know, a little bot, buying little odds and ends and all that stuff. But anyhow, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, everybody.